Hello, everybody, and welcome to our ongoing Meet the Staff series. We're excited today to meet the staff of our small but mighty Marion branch uh, on West Side Avenue. Uh, we, we have some, some awesome folks working at the Marion branch. It's one of, it, even though it's one of our smallest branches, it is also one of our busiest branches, um, and it's, a, it's a totally beloved by the community. So we're really excited to get to know the staff of Marion branch today a little bit better. Um, I'm Shane Smith. I am the public information officer for the library, and I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to ask each of you just to give us a quick introduction, your name and sort of how long you've been with the library, what you do for the library. And Dolores, why don't we start with you? Hey, hello, everyone. Thank you, Shane. Um, my name is Dolores Reyes. Um, I've been with the library since 1987. Uh, and then became permanent a year later, 1988. I started as a junior library assistant, then became a senior library assistant, then became supervisory library assistant, bilingual. Uh, and I started off in the Criolla. Uh, then after that, I worked there for 17 years. And then after that, I worked at the uh, Pavoni branch. I worked there for another maybe eight or nine years. And then I got promoted to the Marion branch. And uh, it was sad for my previous supervisor. Uh, her name was Pat Mantone, and she was very, very nice. Uh, but I wanted to um, start off in a small branch. And I thought it would be a, a good experience. She wanted me to be the manager at the Pavonia branch. And at that time, I was like, no, I want to I want to go to the Marion branch. I've heard a lot of good things about the community and the community where the Pavoni branch is, is very good. They're all good, you know, but um, I said, no, I, I started working here and at first I got lost. I couldn't find the branch <laughs> and I was like, wait, where is it? I had never been here, you know, which is shameful. But uh, when I got here, it was it was wow it was like a small space a lot of wonderful beautiful books and not only that it was the community uh they are amazing and some of them have uh, been here since wow for ages we have older people that walk in and they say well i used to come here when i was a little girl or when i was a little boy and so they have some amazing stories and uh, i can't tell you uh, how, how amazing it's been, even working for the library as a whole, you know, uh, working for the library is like, every time I walk in, it's nine o'clock, it's, it's like walking into a time machine. Mm -hmm. And by the time you know, it's five o'clock, and wow, where did the day go? Because so many people love going to the library, which is amazing in Jersey City. We love it. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, I actually so I, I grew up, uh, grew up going mostly to the Five Corners branch. I grew up in the Journal Square area. Five corners, oh. but I went to PS 23 and which is right down the block, they said, from Marion. So I would stop into Marion once or twice, you know, when I was oh. when I was in at really yeah, how yeah. old were you? How how old were you at the time? I was like I was like 10 or 11, maybe like nine or 10. Wow. Like yeah, so it was okay. money. Yes. How about you? Oh um first I came in the when I was teenage, I came to USA. And uh, one day I was in Five Corner Branch, upstairs Midyards, and I was uh, looking the ESL book, you know, of course, ESL book. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm check, I went with my husband and I'm checking out uh, me and my husband alone that time. So I check out the book and I wish I can work in Midyards, you know, <laughs> that's my dream. And um, after uh, uh, some years, you know, I started in 2000, thanks to Susan Stewart, uh, Bitre Zulatia, and uh, Nelly Flores. Of course, uh, Sonia Arujo, I never forgot her, um, Priscilla Gander, and uh, uh, they gave me opportunity and um, my community, uh, I don't forget my husband, my all three son, I have support from them, from uh, my, they can do anything for me um, and my community, my parents, my uncle, they raised me. 
when i was <laughs> born when i was born my uncle was uh, a home my dad was in the college so my dad cannot take care of my mom take care about farm in india so my uncle raised me and uh, thanks to my uncle also and uh, my community i never forgot my community because they gave me opportunity without them i cannot do anything and uh, they come to five corner uh, i started i worked 15 and half years in the five corner and then uh, i got over here i finished six and half years thanks to dolores uh, uh, she's uh, now changed great thank you very nice um sometimes we have clash but it's okay uh-huh. <laughs> we are, we are just like sister a... <laughs> we are just like sister you know sometimes we are fighting <laughs> and um, we are just like sister we are we are work like sister you know i don't have sister and uh, i tell her ah oh, if i have sister i don't know how can i i leave you or i i cannot uh, you know uh, forget you or i cannot live without you i i ask her I ask her every day. We have fun. Yes, we, we have jokes. Yeah, I have, right. I have seven sisters. Oh my goodness! So yes, and one brother. He's the last one. But uh, working with Manny, it's like you know, you're like one of my sisters. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, things, you know, we we yeah. we help each other, and we you know, you have these little you know, uh, debates, you know, and uh, so. You know, it's it's a lot of fun working with Manny. Yeah. You know? So we laugh it off, and sometimes, yes. uh, yeah. yeah. There, I yeah. mean, there was one day we we got really upset with each other. Remember that, Manny? And I was like, <laughs> yes. she was like, well, I'll go to another branch. And I was like, yes, I, I said, wait a minute. I said, do you want to get divorced? No. <laughs> I said, you want to get divorced? <laughs> so oh, she started goodness. laughing and everything. Um, but we, you know, Manny is wonderful. You know, it's. Uh, Thank you. it gets very busy during the day people come in and they they need what they need and and we are always trying to do our best to make sure that yes. they have uh you know their copies or their mm-hmm. books uh and so it can be a kind of it can be stressful you know when you have like five people waiting yes. outside and and they need that copy because they have to go to court you know or they need you know they're they filling have- out citizenship documents uh we had one they have interview and uh, yeah interview yeah right so yeah there's always know. i mean it's 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 a good point you know with the 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 li- with, <laughs> with the library is we give you know we we sh- we provide services for all kinds of things that people need and you know people you know it's really critical for a lot of people so definitely yeah. you know and working with the public at any time can always be you know has its stressful moments but i think yes. what's great yeah. about about our our library and our teams that we always kind of like yeah. we have such strong relationships within the within the staff and it's really wonderful to see and i want to give shelly a chance to introduce herself too yeah shelly. and thank you for having me shane oh of course yes and i i gonna finish 22 years in the august uh, oh wow yes yes Congrats. in the library thank awesome. you hi shelly. thank you hi thank you for the opportunity shane um uh, my name is shelly smith I uh joined the library in April I believe of 2019. <clears throat> I started at the Heights branch as a page. Uh I've been a resident of Jersey City off and on for more years than I would want to say, but I had spent much of the last uh oh 10 to 15 years caring for parents and had come back from the midwest and was having to kind of restart my life and uh thought i would focus a little more on life in jersey city rather than uh elsewhere um so started as a page and then uh after the pandemic um after things kind of began to slowly reopen uh began working as a floater and that's been exciting because i've uh, had assignments at i think all but two branches so it's uh always uh interesting to experience the different cultures of each each branch yes yeah, so you've really gotten to know all, all the different all the different buildings all the different neighborhoods it's great mm-hmm. and so i guess i'll then i'll uh, that's a great segue into our next question i'll ask you this shelly what's your favorite place in the library in the whole system or in in uh uh Marion branch 
whichever, whichever you'd like to answer. Wow. Um, I guess because I enjoy books and titles and get, I, I, I have to admit, a little bit wrapped up in looking at the titles and books. Um, shelving the books is probably <laughs> my, my, my preference. So, nice. um, yeah, yeah, doing that. That's great. Money, how about you? Where's your favorite place in oh, the library? Library. If I have to do work with children, story hours, craft, I'm very happy. And uh, uh, helping uh, children and uh, parents giving the book. And they are very happy uh, when the community come. Sometimes they ask me, money is there, money is there. And uh, uh, Dolores say, yes, money is here. And I go them. Uh, I help them. I take it out book, they love it. And they say, when you coming, uh, when I come again, uh, I gonna call you, you are here or not. And I gonna come and choose book for me, you know? Nice. Yeah. And I love to work with community and I love to work with children. Um, all children, when I started in the five corner, uh, I have story hour and uh, I do story hours in the, um, uh, auditorium and I have 60 kids, wow. 60 parents, uh, <laughs> sometimes mother and father come. So I have total 130 and I have to use a um, microphone and um, yes, and they love it. And a whole year, they want me to continue the story hours, you know, and uh, yeah, I, I enjoy. And uh, I have friends, they moved to Canada and uh, they moved since uh, 11 years ago and still they contact me mm. in the Montreal and I went I went over there also and I visit them also and they That's always true. anything happened with his son and she called me money because of you my son is over here you know wow. yeah yeah That's so wonderful. thank you thank you Dolores what's your favorite place in the library okay so the favorite place in, in the library is the entrance why <laughs> Why is the entrance? Because that's where the new books come in. So when the new books come in, I'm looking at the books that uh, I ordered because uh, I'll order books that patrons will request. And so I'll find some of the titles very interesting or uh, I order books uh, based on reviews on Amazon. If I see a book has, uh, it's fairly new and it has like maybe 50 five-star reviews or let's say it's, a month old and it has 5,000 five-star reviews. Mm -hmm. I want to look at that book, nonfiction and fiction. Uh, with fiction, it's kind of hard. I'll just browse through real quickly, but the nonfictions are really good because you can learn a lot of stuff. There's different perspectives from different authors and there's a lot of stuff to pick up and you can create your own opinions and your own ideas on what's really happening in the world mm. and what's just an opinion or what's not you know really researched so i like to gather all that information and just say okay i think this might be what's happening but that's just my own opinion and uh people will come in and they'll make different comments about different things whether it be science technology politics sometimes mm -hmm. i like to stay away from that or religion you know but, you know, people want to come in and they want to talk and they want to have discussions about, and they want to um, voice their ideas, you know, and what they think is happening in the world. And so when they ask me something, I'll say, well, this is just my opinion, you know, <laughs> right. Uh, this is what I think, you know, and then they start scratching their heads and they're like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. And then I hear what they have to say, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, I want to read this book. They'll come in and they'll say, hmm what books do you recommend? And I'll be like, oh, okay, well, here's some new books, you know, and yeah. everybody's reading this title. And then there's other things here that you might, that you might like. Sometimes I'll tell the kids when they come in, when they're looking for a book or the parents were asking me, what books do you recommend? I'll say, well, I recommend this one. And if you don't like this book, I'll quit my job. And they start <laughs> laughing. <right? laughs> so it kind of gets them, you know, intrigued, you know? Yeah. Okay. And so when they bring the book back, I'm like, did you like the book? Yeah, that was a really good book. <laughs> like, good. Maybe I'll they see. just don't want you to I get quit. to keep my job. <laughs> right. Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, so. yeah, I mean, that's a great, one of the other great things about a library, right, is that we have 
you know, we're a gathering place and, you know, it's a place for people to, to read and learn and, and, yes. and really learn about each other and exchange of yes. ideas as well. So speaking of books, Dolores, what was your favorite book when you were growing up? What was your favorite book as a child? Okay, well, I was born here in uh, New Jersey, in upstate New Jersey. And then in 1969, we moved to Puerto Rico. Uh, so I was maybe about nine years old, going on 10. It was the summer of 1969. So in Puerto Rico, they don't have libraries on every you know, mm. community. They only have one library and it's in the Universidad de Puerto Rico. So I never really got to go to a library. And uh, the book that they gave us to read uh, was uh, an assignment and it was called Maria. Um, I think the author is Betances. I'm not sure, but I was looking it up and it just brought back a whole lot of memories. And uh, the author is Colombian. Uh, they made a movie about it and it's a love mm -hmm. story. And it turned out that the author was uh, one of the best uh, authors from the 1850s at that oh, wow. time in Spanish literature. I'll have to find out the author. My husband was telling me, but anyway. Uh, so I really enjoyed that that book as a young girl. I mean, my sisters in Sussex, they were always reading uh, love stories, mm -hmm. love magazines. So I was always the one that would, you know, as I was and I was nine and I was reading those those magazines. But uh, my sister used to read Bible stories to me and I always mm -hmm. found it intrigued, you know. So that was the books that were in our home. And uh, I must have been like maybe seven. So I remember uh, her reading those by uh, David and Goliath, you know, like mm -hmm. just justifiable, justifiable stories, you know, like the 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 person that that has the disadvantage gets to have some type of an an advantage yeah. in the story, which is really really uh, kind of enlightened me to you know the unfairness you know of mm -hmm. you know, some communities you know and and uh, cultures and and oh. races so. Um, I live in the Greenville section of Jersey City, and uh, I live on a, on a block where uh, we've had a lot of violence happen. So uh, I, I, they ask me, um, why don't you move? You know, when there's a shooting and police come and they say, well, why don't you move? And I'm like, no, I'm not moving. I'm mm. staying here, you know, because there were a lot of children in the area that, uh, you know, they would play. And so I would come out in the front of my steps and I'd bring out a guitar and a Congo or, and I'd say, Hey, let's start singing, you know, songs. And so those kids, um, they're adults now. And some have gone on to the military. Mm -hmm. uh, some have gone on to college. Uh, some left the block and some unfortunately didn't make it to, you know, uh, an age they, you know, they got involved in, you know, activities that were not, you know, but uh, there was one little boy that lived in, in my home. Uh, uh, and it's really sad. He ended up uh, in jail. Mm. And, uh, you know, I always say, wow, if there was something that I could have done, I mean, I used to talk to them all the time. And, uh, but it was really, really sad, you know, all right. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, this, these are the unfortunate things that that happen. So I, I refuse to move. I refuse to leave, mm. you know, because I can be that one person that uh, and they, everybody knows Mrs. Ray is on Rutgers Avenue. So mm -hmm. uh, and Mr. Ray is so. Um, yeah. So those were the books that and we would read books, too. I read books to the kids. And uh, one one little girl, I taught her how to read. Uh, she, her mom, she was living with her grandmother and her grandmother asked me, can you teach my granddaughter how to read? And I was like, yes, absolutely. So I brought some of the level one, two, three books. Mm -hmm. And those are the books that go out the most in this yeah. library. We have a whole collection. And this little girl, she's in college now. And, she, and the other day, her uncle was saying, you know, you were that one person, you know, mm -hmm. that made a difference. And uh, you would come out and you would clean everything and and, uh, you know, you were, we were witnesses to what you were doing. And so this is what he goes, now I'm doing it, you know, and I'm like, that's oh, that's wonderful. great. That's fantastic. You know, really so, wonderful. yeah. Shelly, how about you? What was your favorite book growing up? Um, I'll say there were three. As, okay. as a child, Eloise, 
Mm -hmm. uh, the Lonely Doll by Dare Wright <clears throat> and Maurice Sendax, The Big Green Book and his Nutshell Library, The Chicken Noodle Soup uh, nice. series. And then as a teenager, uh, I discovered Nikki Giovanni and loved her autobiography, Gemini and The Catcher in the Rye, although I had to read it again when I was in college to actually <laughs> <laughs> understand what was going on. But that that's the favorite book. Uh, nice. Those are favorite books in my youth. That's awesome. That's a nice, it's a good catalog right there. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mani? Yes. Uh, you know, when I was little, I was learning, uh, you know, ABCD alphabet, and that's the, my favorite. And then I grown up a little bit. I am art person. I finished both degree in India. I got uh, graduate from the art degree. Oh, wow. Nice. So, um, yes. So um, I love to, whatever the art section, I go over there and I just, you know, flip the book, you know, sometimes to Lourdes ask me and I was there, you know, gardening and uh, art and cooking and that's my favorite and uh, biography and um, uh, uh, biography about Gandhiji and all dignities I love to read about that yeah very nice very nice yes yes um, now Dolores you said you had said you wanted to share something special a special memory yeah um, I yeah thanks from the library uh, yeah so um when I worked, I used to work in the Criollo and, and Nelly was my supervisor, Nelly Flores. She's still in the library system. She works in Five Corners. And so she would send me to the hub meetings. And so this is a meeting that uh, all the branch managers gathered together and they would look at books. They called it uh, a book study, I think it was. And so they had a whole list of books for you to select from. So, and then they would also discuss uh, plans on the summer reading club. So. I remember in the early years when I started in the library, she sent me to one of these meetings and I was like, yeah, sure. So I went and uh, they were discussing the summer reading club um, for that year, which was books are oceans of fun. And so uh, I remember there was one librarian one year I was told before I started, she dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. I don't know what the, the theme was that year. But um, so when they were talking about, oh, maybe we should get somebody to dress up as a mermaid. And so all the, I mean, these were all older people, okay, uh, 60, 70, you know, 50, uh, some were younger, but I was the youngest one in the whole room. And so they were all looking at each other. Right. And the woman that was dressed at the Statue of Liberty, I don't remember. I don't know if she was there. I don't think she was there. And and so they didn't they you know, she was looking at everybody else if she was, but they were all looking at each other. And then I think I was towards the end of the table and then I was looking at everybody looking at each other. And then all of a sudden, all the heads there looked at me right? <laughs> <laughs> so they were all looking at me and I'm looking at them and they're looking at me. And it was like quiet for like a couple of seconds. And then I was like, I'll do it, I'll do it. And so they were like, okay, good. We have a, we have a mermaid. So I went out and I bought all the material. I designed uh, a costume. Uh, I cut it right on my uh, living room floor wow. at the shape. I looked at that year was the little mermaid. Uh, the movie came out. And um, right. <laughs> so, I was like, well, let me look at the picture of the Little Mermaid and see, let me look at that. And so I, I cut the costume and I bought material. There was a uh, material store on Manila Avenue. It's not there anymore, but everybody used to buy their material there. And so I cut it and I had a seamstress sew it. And mm -hmm. so we went to, they took me, I went to all the libraries and they took me to Newport Mall. And so I don't know if maybe the viewers remember years ago when Newport Mall had the, um, the water fountain, remember that? Okay, so that was the year that the water fountain was still there. So that's not there anymore. So I have a picture that I wanna share. I thought it would be fun, okay? Here. There it is. Lars <laughs> the mermaid. Love oh. It. Love it, that's great. And so I have another, they had to, um, I, could, I could hardly walk. I was like, I was, I was like Morticia, you know, had, and so I had two of my library coworkers helping me uh, walk. I had to get, they had to escort me to the elevator and then I had to walk. And so 
Um, one of the women, I, I don't remember her name. I, I don't remember who this was, but this woman, her name was May Powell. And she lent me a pink cushion to sit on. Mm. And she also gave me a necklace. It was, uh, she always had beautiful jewelry. And so um, somebody, one of the other staff people that took, they took a picture. And so, so nice. you see the water fountain. And so uh, I was you must holding have been a, a kid in the mall with Little Mermaid running. The kid, oh my gosh, the kids. I was holding a huge uh, book about dolphins and we were giving out lollipops to the kids and I was waving, you know, like in the, the, the parade, <laughs> you know, the women waving on the yeah. floats. Uh, and um, the kids would say the little mermaid, they were calling me the little mermaid. And so they would come <laughs> up and I would give them a, lo a lollipop and we would give them the, uh, the information uh, on how to join the summer reading club. Absolutely. So it was, a, it was a lot of fun. That sounds like I, I so you much got a fun. Kick out of that. I bet, yeah, I, I definitely did. And, you know, it's such a nice example, too, of the ways that the library goes outside of the library. Right? And we go and meet the community. And all that. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Um, we're, we're, we're actually getting close to the end of time. So I want to make sure that we oh, have wow. enough time to do our lightning round because we need to make sure we do our lightning round questions at every time. So these are just quick questions, you know, rapid fire. I'll just ask them quickly. And then, you know, don't think too much. Just answer, you know, just answer what comes to your head. Um, we just, it's just like a fun little thing that we like to do at the end of these. So uh, Shelly, I'll start with you. Dog person or cat person? Dog. Dogs. Okay. What kind of dog? you like uh west highland white terrier wow very specific oh. i like it that's awesome <laughs> awesome money are you more more into dogs or cats uh dog dogs also yeah yes. you ever owned a dog yeah. uh no but uh in india yes yeah yes uh when uh, my mom is uh uh, cooking outside the dog is sitting until you know my mom gave them the yes. you know roti <laughs> yes yes and i remember i uh, always protect uh, if anybody uh, coming to my home he's barking he's sitting uh, overnight outside the door wow you know? yes, dedicated yes, Dedic very yes, dedicated. dedicated yes wonderful yes, yes yes dolores dogs or cats dog Oh, wow. We have three dog people. Oh dog, my gosh, that's dog. A first. Yeah, I have a rescue yeah. dog from uh, uh -huh. the Liberty Humane Society. His name is Benji and he's a, a Shih Tzu Terrier mix. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he has a lot of energy. He's, yeah, he's he does. And he <laughs> likes this. They have like these little balls that they sell in the store. They they have a taste. They taste like bacon. And uh -huh. so he has like five five of these balls. We just bought him a new one and it's green. He's got all the colors. And he's like this morning, he was like, He'll throw the ball at me and it'll hit me. Sometimes I'm falling asleep at the end of the day after I eat, I'm watching TV. And he's like, the ball just hits me, you know, and then he'll bark and he's like, bark, you know, like play with me. So I pick up the ball yeah. and I throw it, you know, to the kitchen and then he gets it and he brings it back. But yeah, I had a black, a black lab before that. And oh. uh, she, uh, we, um, we had to give her away because my oh. son has asthma. So it was a lot with the, with the, the dog we have now is, uh, it doesn't shed. So okay. the asthma is better, but That's yeah. Good. So dogs, I love dogs. All right. And then I'll go back to you for this next question, Dolores. Sweet or salty, which is better? Sweet. Yeah. I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate, yeah, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I told my husband, yeah, but it has to be, uh, I, well, I eat the, um, what is the one with, without the sugar? the Brax, they sell them it's just for oh. diabetics i'm not okay. diabetic but you know i eat the i eat those okay. and i can eat one right after the other because they don't have the sugar so good. i don't That's i don't good. get the penalty all right money sweet or salty sweet yeah sweet yes yes because Any you favorites? know uh, when yes uh cadbury when uh, mm -hmm. i came over when i was little girl in india uh, we when we have chance we uh, Cadbury and uh, when I came over here my husband get me every day when he come from the work every day he bring me Cadbury you know <laughs> every single nice. day my husband that's yes. nice that's very nice <laughs> yes yes over here I think the most most of the, the time when we hear about Cadbury we hear about the cream eggs at Easter time you know there's like the the chocolate eggs that are filled with this cream yeah. oh, yes yeah. yes yeah. yes yes that's I think because yes, it's uh, very famous mint with or the, something with like that yes yes yeah yeah. Shelly, how about you? 
sweet or sweet, salty? Sweet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dog people, sweet people. All right. All right. <laughs> what are your favorite? What's your favorite sweets? Uh, I guess mostly ice cream. I, I love mm. uh, especially Haagen Dazs green uh, matcha green tea, and oh, yeah. uh, I love scones and York peppermint patties are my weakness. Those are really good too. What was that? What was that? Uh, when I when I get the feeling or something uh, when I bite into a York peppermint patty. Oh yeah. Uh, what yeah. was the what was the the tagline? Could, I get swept away or I don't remember some, what it was. Something. Yeah. There was, I remember. I remember those ads. All right. And final question, we can't, we can't, uh, we can't do one of these without asking this question. This is like, like the big thing here. So uh, I'll start with you again, Shelly. What is your favorite pizza place in Jersey City? Or if you don't like pizza, what's your, what's your favorite sort of food place to go? Well, I have to say thanks to one of my assignments, the one um, in the Berg, uh, at the Bergen Lafayette, I discovered Morty's. Um, oh, the sandwich shop? Yes, good lord, that tuna sandwich just that. So that's my first, and the Grio and the Heights would be my my. Those mm. are my two favorite. Grio's good too. I don't think I've ever eaten there. I've, they have really good coffee. Eat there. You, you, yeah. Okay, I will. I will. I will. All right, Money. Do you have favorite pizza place yes, in Jersey City? Yes, yes. Um, on West Side Avenue, they have four brother Italian pizza. Huh? You know, four brothers. And when I came over here, I don't like anything. Not even juice. Not even milk. I hate milk. I don't like anything, but I love the pizza, you know? <laughs> so when we go in the weekend, my husband, I, he asked me, what do you want to eat? I said, nothing else, only pizza. Pizza, pizza. pizza. awesome. Four so brothers. we go All to right, Pizza good. Hut and uh, then we go to Pizza Hut, their store is closed, then we go to Pizza Hut. And All right. now the, uh, we go to Papa John. Yes. Oh, Papa John's. <laughs> yes. Right, very yes. Good, very good. And you, Dolores? Well, for years, I hi, I love Vinny's on Route 440. Mm. That pizza is like amazing. Uh, also, the pizzeria in downtown. Uh, yeah. Vin, I think it's Vincent's. Uh, but I have to stay away from the pizza lately because <laughs> I was getting, you know, with the COVID lockdowns, you know, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I had yep. to stop eating pizza. But now, <laughs> yeah, now I'm eating, um, I feel you. I'm eating a lot of sushi. So oh. they do have, they, don't, they don't have any sushi. I think they had a sushi place on Route 440 as well, but they closed down. Huh. Uh, but uh, we usually order from Bayonne. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> if if anybody knows any cut. sushi places in Jersey City, please let me know. because There's a there's a good one downtown in Newport called Komagashi, right in, oh, right in Newport. They have okay, good, I think my daughter goes sushi. there. Yeah. yeah, I like that okay. place. Oh, yeah. all right. Thank you. Well, I have had such a blast getting to know all of you some more. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I know that our viewers will enjoy hearing all of all of your interesting stories and all the stuff that you know that makes you love the library. And I just want to thank you all for 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 the work that you do. Thanks for making the Marion Branch Library such a such a wonderful place have, to visit. Okay, if you have one minute, I'm gonna show you something. My oh yes, go ahead, Marion. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I got um, yes. Um, this is Federation of India Association. Uh, they gave me award. We have a uh, 44, 46 uh, committee member. Wow, but uh, five people, five people got award, and they gave me award also. Beautiful. Uh, is uh, from the thank you from the uh, best singer. Um, uh, uh, Kailash Care, he gave me award, nice. and uh, my my community from the senior citizen, they gave me award also in 2018. Beautiful. And, uh, yes, and uh, now I got in the Women History Month uh, this uh, year. Uh, they gave me award. Uh, my community recognize me every time, and Beautiful. I know it's in the is in the newspaper action. also. Is yes. in the newspaper also in uh, Gujarat Times, a Vatan magazine. And Vatan uh, nice. magazine and um, here is Vatan uh, magazine and um, uh, in India they give the uh, in the paper also the Akila news in the uh, Gujarat state. So there it is. Come on down to the Marion Branch Library, visit world famous Mani Patel, award winning <laughs> international yeah. star, well, amazing. You. And when Manny's not there, that phone 
it's, it's rings all day. Manny, 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 Manny. No, she's not here. She's, she's, you know, she'll be here in 15 minutes, you know. All right. Manny, Manny, yes. Manny. Okay. Yes. And I love to help my community. They come over here. Wonderful. They come in the, you know, when they come from India, they are uh, uh, coming to the library and everyone tell them, go to library, money will help you. And I help them to uh, register in the school, go to the social security office. When they have to go in the hospital, they call me, I take off, you know, and I take my car and then I take them Beautiful. to senior also and I helping the people. And um, with uh, my community uh, gave me, you know, and uh, uh, recognize me and my without my husband and my my children, I cannot uh, uh, forget them, you know. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, Mani, for all that you do. Thank you. And thank you to yes. Lars. And thank you, thank Shelley. You. Thank you to all, thank everyone you, at Marion. And thank you to the patrons of Marion who make it such a wonderful, busy and uh, any place to be. So that's we're really out of time. But I'm, I'm just so, so happy to, to have had this time with all of you. Thank you so much. Thank and you, Shane. join us next month for uh, another Meet the Staff. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye, everyone. Thank you.